Hello, everybody, and welcome back to my channel. Before I get to reading here, I'm going to go ahead and clear the air. Okay, guys, so the subject matter for today uh, in our pick a card here is Summer Solstice Messages of Abundance. Letha, S Summer Solstice, we're going to be taking a look at what is coming for you. Uh, you know, we're going to, you know, who knows what's going to come up in these groups. There could be money, love, success, career. Who knows? Sky's the limit. So please do remember that this is a general reading and not a personal one. So there's absolutely no reason to take anything personally. Um, as you can see, we have four groups here. We have group one with the yellow obsidian. We have group two with the uh, lavender fluorite. We have group three with pink petalite. And we have group four with the green amethyst. So uh, go ahead, do whatever it takes. Pause, take a chill pill, whatever, to focus in, zone in, get all zen as to which group is calling to you. And uh, we are going to get started. For group one with the yellow obsidian, this is going to be your reading. Let's see what came up in the cards for you guys. Your summer solstice, Letha messages. We have the fool, which is the green man in this deck. That's a beautiful card. We have the Knight of Wands. Ooh, la, la. Okay. We have the Ace of Cups. Oh, my God. <laughs> Somebody's going to be taking some risks in love. And, oh, my God. Absolutely. <laughs> okay. So, two things here. All right. I'm seeing a couple things. Obviously, there's love coming in here. All right. <clears throat> For some of you, most definitely, uh, where it's like, I, I almost feel like that there's a little bit of hesitancy as to whether or not to jump into this, but I feel like this person's feelings are very, vi they're very true, okay? Uh, they are offering you love. I feel like um, that this person could be from, because we have the Knight of Wands, this could be somebody who is completely from a different uh, area than you, different culture than you, different background, different country. Uh, and it's like, this is something quite new, I feel. And it's going to... Almost, I feel like that there's an element of surprise to this, but I feel, and for some of you, you guys could actually meet while traveling, but um, this is love here, but it's not something to be rushed, okay? But you can take a risk with this one because, and you can have that leap of faith and you can trust this person because I feel like you're going to have a lot of fun. It's like this person is very seductive. They're very uh, sensual, sexy, I feel like that they have a really beautiful accent. Um, they're just, I, I just, I'm getting this like excitement kind of feeling here that this is something that's very worth uh, this summer having some fun with, <laughs> okay? Because I feel like you guys are going to definitely explore and travel. Also, for some of you, this could be a difficult decision or a choice to make a move. Uh, you guys could be moving, but um, it's worth it. I feel like, and you're definitely going to, it's exciting. It's, uh, you know, I, I, you know what it makes me think of for some reason? It makes me think of the movie Risky Business, uh, where he's, he says, sometimes you just got to say, what the fuck? That is totally the, the vibe I'm getting here, where it's just like, you are going to have a great time. Whatever this, you know, this offer, and for some of you, this could be an offer. It's a very emotional offer, though, that is coming in. Uh, and also I feel like some of you are definitely being called to be like, go travel somewhere. Okay. Because look at that. I don't know. It's just like, I'm getting this, there's a village up here and the sun is rising over it. And it's like, I just feel like for some of you, definitely there is somebody from a foreign place who's coming in and you will meet them. Uh, I, I almost feel like when you're when you least expect it, but also it's like you could be out with friends having a good time when you run into this person. Also, I feel that there's definitely, I just feel a lot of forward movement, a lot of travel going on here. Uh, 
from, I don't know, I'm just seeing this and I'm seeing this. It's like they kind of mirror each other. If you notice, I feel like you guys are two completely different people. And it's like you're following your own path and you're doing your thing. And then all of a sudden it's like, boom, you guys are going to merge and fall, you know, fall in love basically. And it's just, uh, it's just going to happen. But definitely I feel like that there's movement and travel involved with this. Okay. So let's see what came up in the Oracle cards because you got a few here. We have, oh, yes, <laughs> we have opportunity. That is fucking fantastic. We have ask for help. Angels are celestial beings who protect everyone. And the fairies say now is the time for you to ask for angelic assistance. Very interesting. We have Pipestone and Catlinite with ancestors and root chakra. So uh, be working on that root chakra and get grounded because I feel like this is going to, it's just kind of a reminder. And I feel like this is like, for some of you, now is the time, especially if you're trying to make a decision about something, to really call on your ancestors and ask for help, ask for guidance. Because I feel like for a lot of you, legit, uh, you know, passed on ancestors are helping to guide you in this situation. I feel like you might know who they are too. They could be appearing to you on a regular basis in dreams and things like this. Um, because I mean, look at that. Uh, so definitely don't be afraid to ask for assistance and help from them. Also, some of you definitely have angelic guides. And I, you know, again, I think you know who they are. If there's a particular uh, angelic being that you feel uh, called um, to call on, and also like, you just want to work with them, do it and ask for help from them. Definitely. So we have hot spring return to the sacred. We have follow the moon. Oh my God. Look at this. We have like a crescent moon and then we have a full moon here and it legit says follow the moon and we have a new start is coming new moon. Oh my God. So we have all this lunar suggestion here. Okay. Opportunity card, the follow the moon and new start is coming. So I feel like for you in particular, Specific moon cycles can be very potent and powerful, especially in receiving messages and guidance, but also there's something to do with the new moon and meeting your person, this opportunity, decision-making, stuff like this. So let's, and uh, if any of you live near a hot spring or you plan on visiting one, um, or I don't know why, it's like if there's a city or a town or something, especially with hot spring in the... It could be where you're taking a vacation or traveling to. There might be hot springs there. I know, uh, depending on what area you live in, there are several places that have these um, in all different countries as well. But I feel like if you're traveling anywhere near one, there's something about them, okay, that you never know. <laughs> you know, I'm just like, that's like what I want to say. You never know. So it's like, <laughs> you don't know until you try. So let's take a look at the... Um, Let's take a look at the opportunity card here, okay? Because I'm really curious as to what this, uh, you know, I feel like this is definitely an opportunity coming in. It's an opportunity for love. It's an opportunity for, for great excitement or happiness. Also could be somebody's making an offer to you uh, and they could be of the opposite sex to you or somebody you have a crush on and they want to travel and go somewhere and they're offering you this opportunity. And it's like you're, or hey, oh my God, here we go. Some of you could be very good friends with this person, but you think that they're attractive and stuff. And they're like straight up asking you, you want to go on a trip with me or you want to, let's go vacation. Let's go on, do something together. And you're like almost kind of hesitant about it because you're like, whoa, where is this going? And like, it's almost like when people have a close friendship, it's like, you know, and then there's like attraction there. It's like you're afraid to fuck up the friendship because of it. But in this case, I don't think that you should pass this one by because straight up the best relationships and the greatest ones always start in a friendship. So uh, it's exciting. <laughs> so with the opportunity here, ah shit, once again, my glasses are on the other side of the fucking table. <laughs> All right. With the opportunity, oh boy. And this is specifically talking about moon through the pine trees, occasional owl hoot, and the song of a solo coyote punction the stillness of the forest as a traveler, wa traveler, traveler walks through the pines. Light from the waning moon. There it is. We have a new moon and we have waning moon. So moon cycles are huge for you guys, okay? Uh, waning moon filters down through the canopy of needles and cascades across the forest floor. Sometimes the trees obscure the moon, but sometimes its illumination clearly shows the path ahead. 
path ahead. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Pines are one of the most ancient plant uh, genera in the planet. They have existed nearly three times longer than all flowering plant species. Because most pines stay green all winter, they traditionally represent longevity, immortality, fertility, wealth, and abundance. And I feel like you've got a lot of that coming in, okay? The moon and her goss gossamer, <laughs> gossamer glow represents the feminine and receptive side of life. Just as the moon receives and reflects the light of the sun... Oh my God, we have the sun and the moon here. Um, very much counterparts, Lord and Lady. Absolutely, okay? Uh, just as the moon receives and reflects the light of the sun, symbolically the moon represents receiving the goodness of the universe flowing to you. Exactly. Don't be afraid of this. Jump, take that leap of faith. Don't hesitate, don't hold back because this is something very unique and very special coming to you, okay? Okay. So gifts from the universe are ready to cascade into your life. Abundance, health, longevity, vitality, and joy are flowing to you gently and easily in the days ahead. There may be times when the goodness of life feels like it is ebbing and flowing rather than being a steady stream of fulfillment. Look at that. <laughs> this is similar to the moon peeking through the pine trees for a moment or two. But as you stay open and receptive, physical and emotional gifts will come into your life instead of bemoaning the fact that there isn't a steady and constant stream of joy and gifts from the universe. Accept whatever you receive in a spirit of gratitude and your bounty will increase tenfold. This is the universal law. And it's kind of funny because I feel like for you, you definitely have a steady stream coming in, you know, uh, during the summer solstice. I feel like it's going to be a trigger moment uh, where it's, there's a whole lot of opportunity. And I feel like beforehand is definitely you're going to be getting messages as to specifically where to go, where to be, uh, uh, signs and synchronicities. Be paying attention to all that for sure, okay? And speaking of that, with the Ask for Help card, like I said, you have angelic guidance around you as well as your ancestors. I mean, that, what are the odds that both of those come up? So there are times in our lives when we need celestial assistance, and that time may be now. Angels are omnipresent, non-denominational uh, beings who can be called upon for help by anyone at any time for any kind of assistance, from clearing congested traffic to fast healing after a medical procedure. Perhaps you're very independent and feel that you can sort out everything and anything on your own without help. Fairies, too, are generally self-sufficient creatures and can usually deal with any challenges that might arise. But on occasion, even the fairies need a little divine intervention and may ask for an angelic helping hand. It makes perfect sense. If we humans call on the angels, why wouldn't the fairies ask for angelic intervention too? This card may be telling you that an angelic boost would be beneficial for you or someone you know at this time. With this card, the fairies are encouraging you to call on your personal guardian angel to help you through any tricky situation you may be experiencing. The fairies will also sprinkle some fairy dust on you to give you some uh, some cheer and joy during challenging times or even if you just need a fairy boost. Be aware that sometimes fairies are referred to as the angels of nature or nature angels, but they're not celestial angels. The roles are very different from one another, though they sometimes meet somewhere in the middle. Remember that there are no rules and that the angels are happy to work with fairies and humans alike when it's for the highest good of all. So with the, I swear to God, I love this. I, you know, this card I've read many times. It's such a beautiful one uh, with the, by the way, this is card 32 uh, for anybody who is um, wanting to know, you know, numerology on the cards. So with this one right here, your ancestors are calling to you, waiting for you to start to acknowledge them. This is a powerful time for you to delve more deeply into who you really are and to find out where your family has come from. Oh my God, you guys. Wow. So you might be like getting some sense that, you know, there's some place that you're very attracted to and that you want to go and visit. And it turns out you could actually have a uh, family like ancient ancestors that come from that area. And trust me, if you go spit in a cup and get your DNA tested, you might be very surprised at what comes up. Everybody has a little bit of everything, okay? I mean, a lot. It's rare that somebody just only has, you know, one, you know, culture in their bloodline. Uh, but I feel for this group, there's something very uh, personal. And it's not only just your DNA, like for your meat suit. It's also your soul DNA. So, you know, which... <laughs> You could be from anywhere with that. So if you are feeling a call towards a certain area, there's definitely a connection there for you, okay? So 
You may feel a strong pull to a particular culture that may not be in your current family bloodlines. This culture may have been a part of who you were in a past life, or you may have some soul link to these ancestors. Pay attention to any particular cultures or belief systems that you find yourself drawn to at this present time. Now is the optimal time to research your family lineage. Your ancestors have been with you in many lifetimes, and they are here today to offer you strength and wisdom. You are not alone. Call upon them for help and guidance whenever you need to. Yeah. Your aunt. Okay. So Pipestone, also known as Catlinite, is a sacred crystal in Native American culture. So some of you definitely could have Native American uh, bloodline or that's who you were in a past life. It is carved into sacred pipes and used in other sacred objects. Objects. Pipestone is associated with the root chakra and is used to connect with the ancestors' great spirit and to the earth. So again, I feel like there is a, you know, a groundedness here. I'm feeling that there is a kind of a, make sure that you're grounded at all times because you could get a little bit too head in the clouds, you know, too, too much. Like it, it's going to help you to focus is what I feel like. Okay. So with hot spring right here. And what's cool about this is this comes up in the upright position. So let's take a look at hot springs. If I can find the damn page. Here it is. Oh my God. Are you ready for this? So this one was mentioning Native Americans. This one is also mentioning it. Okay. So how many of you actually have uh, Native American blood or feel very drawn to that culture? Like one of the tribes, because there's many, lots. So um, this is very interesting. So to Native Americans, hot springs are sacred places for peace and healing. The creative energies are at play whenever hot springs are found. Rain falls, sinks into the earth, and minerals dissolve. Heat filters impurities, and then a healing spring flows out. Hot springs remind us that some places and activities should always remain sacred and honored. Now is the time to return or restore the sacred in some area of your life. Honor your commitments. Make sure others honor theirs to you. Return to the basics of what is most sacred to you. Honor yourself, what you do, and eliminate which does not do the same. Very interesting. And I mean, think of all the places there are hot springs. I mean, I always think of Japan. <laughs> uh, you know, I, I always think of the monkeys bathing in the, the hot springs too. <laughs> Um, and I also think of, believe it or not, Southern California, because there is some places in Southern California with hot springs. So a new start is coming, you guys. So the new moon. All right. Let's take a look at this one, you guys. So where is the new moon here in this one? Da -da -da -da. Bear with me, y'all. Aha. New start is coming. There is a yes coming your way. So this opportunity, this offer... Say yes, you guys, definitely. This is one of the most auspicious cards in the deck. It's totally positive and suggests something new and exciting is developing. The situation you're asking about is blessed and you are on target to achieve your goals. The message from the universe is that you're starting all over again in some way. Be that on a new or better course or just feeling more positive about just achieving your desired outcome. If you've been feeling stagnant, this card reminds you that life goes in cycles and you're moving into a new cycle now. This is the time to wipe the slate clean. If the situation you asked about has become toxic, either that will clear up now or something totally new and fresh is on the way. So to attune to this energy, I'll see it when I believe it. <laughs> Additional meanings are a new start is on the way. You will soon start to feel more hopeful about getting what you want because, oh boy, it's coming. Your belief that your dreams can manifest is working well. See, because you're believing in yourself, okay? And you aren't doubting and you're trusting. Those of you who are doing this, oh honey, you got it coming to you big time. <laughs> so, and then it says, forget about the past because I feel like lots of you have forgotten about it. You're moving the fuck on. And I feel like also some of you definitely are in contact with your ancestors and you're not afraid to ask for help. This is fucking awesome. I think you guys are just going to recognize that opportunity and go for it. So the new moon marks the start of the waxing cycle and the midpoint of the dark moon. It's a dark and veiled time when the moon is invisible and a time of rebirth. It's a time that witches do their work, making wishes and laying down intentions for the new cycle. An intensely magical time when it's easier to pierce the veil to other worlds. Exactly. This is when we set our manifestations and we generally release them during the full moon. Um, 
So then we have follow the moon. So obviously you guys, if you're doing any kind of manifestations, pay attention to the moon cycles when doing this, the zodiac sign it's in. And also please avoid void, of course, moons. Okay. Because I feel like you're not going to get what you want. If you mess around with the void, of course, moon, it's going to be like, unless you're, you're just like, fuck it, I'll take whatever, you know, and you, you're not expecting anything, then fine, void, of course, whatever. But when you do uh, manifestations during the void, of course, it's kind of like you never know what you're going to get, all right? If you're trying to do something very specific, you definitely want to attune to moon cycles, zodiac signs, and avoid the void, of course, okay? So follow the moon. Let's take a look at this one. So, follow the moon. Three quarters of Gaia's surface is covered in water, and the moon's pull can lift the Earth's oceans at the equator and carry them along in her wake. Two thirds of the human body is also water, and therefore you are also subject to her power. As she waxes and wanes, so do you. Take note. Follow the moon cycles and take note of how you think and feel as her light increases and decreases. Take time to explore and understand her influence upon both your body and your emotions. Yes. So also for some of you, when you are working manifestations and stuff, there are particular, you know, moon phases where you could definitely feel more powerful and it might just work better for you. Okay. And, you know, it's not my, maybe for some of you, it's the waning moon. You never know. Okay. Um, pay attention to that and be journaling that out and writing that out. Also, if you are a female, when you menstruate, and especially if it's during specific moon cycles, that does affect things. And it's like, it, it, it can actually affect like what you're trying to accomplish in that, like, say, um, you know, if you're menstruating du du during a new moon, this could actually, you know, amp up that. So it's basically kind of like an amplifier. It's a very powerful, sacred thing. Okay. Uh, and so you can look it up and you can Google about this and read a little bit more about it, but it's really fascinating stuff. So you might want to look into that. And also menstrual blood is extremely powerful. Okay. In use of ritual. So yes. So anyways, that's all I'm seeing for you guys. This is some pretty freaking exciting shit. <laughs> so I hope that, Oh, I almost forgot. I have a little treat for you guys, a little bonus message here. So let's see what the Secret Gardens cards have to say. Um, but yes, also, yeah, it's like, if any of you are planning on a trip or travel, I think it's going to be really fun and you're going to have a really good time and it's definitely going to work out and there could be some devil, definite romance in the air here. Okay. And if you're trying to start something new, anything, Especially if it's emotionally, if you're emotionally invested in it, it's definitely the time to do that. Oh, look at that. That just flipped over there. Okay. Our, oh, wow. Look at this. We have breathe. Slow down and contemplate the tea. Violets and ivy tangled around the eaves. Very interesting. So, oh, you know what? Ivy is associated with long-term, like marriage, things like this, uh, long-term relationships. It is a very sacred kind of plant. Violets definitely could uh, have something to do with love there. So slow down and contemplate the tea. This is just take it, take a breather, take it easy. Don't you remember I said you cannot rush this and you can't force and push anything. It just has to go with the flow here. Go with the flow, right? Rest, slow down. You don't have to solve everything today. Again, this is talking. I feel like you guys really need a fucking vacation and you need to take a time out. And just enjoy yourself because I feel like when you do this, boy, it's going to give you kind of a bit of a glow up. So we have bloom. Bloom and attract more than butterflies. Yeah, you're going to be attracted more than butterflies, all right. <laughs> okay, and then we have share. The busy bee should still make time for each flower. Again, this is all about taking a break, taking a vacation, taking a trip, taking a breather, and taking that leap of faith and that risk, especially if it has to do with a relationship, and enjoy it. Quit trying to pressure. Quit, quit trying to worry about the outcome. 
just fucking enjoy the moment. Okay, guys? So anyways, that's it. That's all I have for you today. Please make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for further notifications. In the drop-down box, there's information on how to join my Patreon where I post all kinds of bonus stuff. And if you guys are ever looking for a personal reading, uh, you can book one through the email that is below. But also... Uh, if you go on one of the tiers that are a personal reading for my Patreon, you actually get all the bonus other material in addition to your reading. So it's kind of a really good deal. So uh, think about that. So anyways, guys, that's it. That's all I have for you. I wish you much love and happiness this summer solstice. Take good care of yourself and I'll catch you next time. For Bye -bye. those of you who picked group two with the lavender flora, I absolutely love this stone. It is kind of hard to get your hands on it, but oh my God, I love it. So anyways, we're going to take a look at what came up in the cards for you guys for your summer solstice. Letha messages. What is coming in for you? Career, love, whatever. Let's see. We have the Holly King with the Hermit card. We have the Three of Wands. So nice. Your ship's coming in, honey. We have the Queen of Wands. Oh, wow. And we have the Nine of Pentacles. Oh, fuck yes. Okay, so what I'm seeing here definitely, uh, this is very much career related, I feel like, okay? Um, I feel like you guys, I feel like there's an opportunity. There's a, uh, could be a job coming in for you, definitely. Um, and I feel like you've been waiting for this. And, and if for some of you, you've been striving to achieve this. This could also be, uh, finally, like you finished your schooling and stuff like this and you uh, have a job opportunity coming in. It's very empowering. You get to really let yourself shine with this one, with that queen of wands. It's, it's, and I feel like it's very, you guys are doing good. Okay. And it's going to really work out for you with that nine of pentacles. This is all about that uh, abundance, fulfillment. Um, you are reaping what you sow. You definitely are just like the, the money is coming in and it's like, you're comfortable. It's like, you have every reason to feel proud of yourself because I feel like you've worked really hard to achieve this moment and it is a beautiful thing. So, uh, now with the Holly King here with the hermit card for, I feel like also come winter time is really like, especially that time period is when everything is really going to start to like flow when it comes to money and your success. Uh, because I'm just seeing that it's just, it's so, I don't know. It's such a warm, beautiful feeling. I'm feeling it's so home. Some of you could be like, definitely, um, some of you could even be buying your first home. That's so exciting. And you'll be moving in at Christmas, like Yule time, you know? Um, and it's such a, and I feel like I'm like so excited. I like, this is going to sound, please, I hope you don't take this the wrong way, but I'm fucking proud of you. <laughs> That's like what I want to say, because I feel like if you were my child, I would be so fucking excited and so happy for you. And like, just, oh my God, you guys have just done such a good job. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's like, oh, I love it. It's that's like it's making me grin really hard. And I'm feeling like warmth in my heart chakra. It's such a beautiful feeling. Oh my God. I, I feel like you guys, some of you have really struggled a long time too. And you've you've maybe come from pretty humble beginnings uh for some of you, and it's like you have every right to celebrate and feel good about what you have achieved because you fucking deserve this. Uh, most definitely. Um, with that hermit, uh, some of you definitely, and especially with the three of wands, some of you could be writers. Um, some of you could be working for a publishing company, could be, uh, be becoming an editor of some kind. And this could not just be with writing. It could be an editor for film. Uh, you know, all different kinds of things where editors are used. Okay. Um, some of you could be working within the telecommunication or computing or software, uh, you know, realm of things. Uh, somebody, some of you could actually be becoming teachers. Uh, some of you could be becoming doctors, you know, becoming like healers or doctors, some kind of healing uh, profession. But whatever this is, it's just, I swear to God, it's like, I want to fucking buy you a drink and celebrate because that is the kind of vibe I'm getting. It's so fucking special and so beautiful. Some of you could be also starting your own businesses. What I'm thinking of that with that, uh, you know, that queen of wands energy with the three of, you know, wands. This is anybody who could be also like, like I said, with the writers, artists, inventors, uh, working in trade and enterprise, you know, somebody who is a freelancer, you know, a contractor even, um, you know, queen of wands, 
it's like some of you could have like pitched a bid for a job and definitely you're getting it. And it's like, you're going to really shine. You're going to do such a great job uh, in this position. Queen of Wands is definitely somebody, again, we have teacher coming up here. I forgot about that because the Holly King and the, the Queen of Wands are both teacher positions or a leader of some kind, or like I said, an entrepreneur. Some of you guys are just starting your business and I feel like you've busted your ass to get where you are at and you are going to thrive, honey. It's all going to freaking work out. Um, so let's see what else we have. This, these are the Oracle cards. They could give us some more advice on the situation. Maybe there could be a little bit of warnings in here. Who knows? We're going to see. Okay. So we have expect powerful change, new moon eclipse. Wow. We have share your thoughts. We have Ivy stretch and explore. Okay. That's kind of crazy because this Ivy got brought up in group one. That's interesting. So we have Citrin, Abundance, Creativity, Solar Plexus Chakra. Hell yes. That is the Solar Plexus Bowl that I used at the beginning of this reading. This is, this is definitely for you guys. This reading, mm -hmm. if you are watching this group, oh yeah, honey. Work on that Solar Plexus, okay? And also, as I mentioned, heart. And look at, we have green and yellow here. Uh, definitely be working with your... Uh, your solar plexus, your personal power, and that heart chakra, okay? Because no matter how successful you get, always remember to come at things with, with a, from a space of love, okay? For yourself and for others. So we have pure intention, yes. And we have freedom. Oh my God, look at all the yellow and green in this reading. It's so powerful. Oh my gosh, okay. So expect powerful change, share your thoughts, stretch and explore. I really feel like you are freaking exploring and really stretching your, like stretching out and uh, expanding your horizons and trying new things. And I feel like you have really fucking excellent, creative, beautiful ideas in which you can share with others and they will definitely appreciate it. Um, so with the pure intention card, it says the fairy of manifestation will help you to use your wishes wisely, manifest your heart's desire uh, with pure intention and for the highest good of all. And definitely, if you are coming from this space, oh, honey, <laughs> success is yours. However, if you're approaching this from a greed standpoint, then again, I like I said, you reap what you sow. So be very cautious of that. So let's, let's read about uh, expect powerful change with the new moon eclipse. Let's take a look at this one. Where the hell is this one? <laughs> I'm guessing it's probably at the back. Is it? No. Yes. No. Yes, it is. <laughs> oh, my God. Ooh. The eyeballs. Okay. All right. Newman Eclipse. If you want affirmation that you can achieve your dreams and get the desired outcome in the situation you're asking about, then this is it. This is a card of beginnings and there are powerful energies at work, but be prepared. It could be quite, quite a ride and events now could even be jarring and uncomfortable. However, any new directions you take will almost always lead somewhere better than where you are at the moment. Whatever is happening now is happening for a reason. You'll appreciate later on. A new portal is opening up and all you have to do is have the courage to forget about the past and move through it. You're being put back on the right path and there is nothing to fear. Oh my God, I keep getting tingles on the top of my head and I want to cry. It's so weird. I don't know why this group is doing this to me so much, but it's like, I am like legit so fucking happy for you. What the fuck? Please comment below. I want to know how many of you have just achieved a milestone or something because I want to fucking congratulate you personally. <laughs> so fucking comment below, okay? Okay, so you're being put back on the right path. There's nothing to fear. So to attune to this energy, it says, never mind the past. Life evolves every single day. So the additional meanings are yes, yes, a thousand times yes. And it says, you're being shunted towards your life purpose. Oh my God, you guys, that's fabulous. Whatever is happening now is happening for your highest good. Oh my God, look at that. This card reflects that. Wow, okay. This is an important turning point in your life. Yes, yes, yes. I'm like jumping up and down here. I knew it. I fucking knew it. It's like something really fucking magical is happening here. 
Oh my God, I'm so excited for this group. So the teaching here is new moon eclipses are among the most exciting astrological events. They herald a complete change of pace. It's as though you're headed in one direction, probably being guided by your ego. And then here comes the divine, the goddess or spirit to turn you instead to face the direction you actually need to go. Regardless of whether or not there's a new moon eclipse happening when you pull this card, it's a powerful affirmation of positive turnarounds. Fuck yes. This is awesome. <laughs> Oh my God. Okay. So let's see what share your thoughts is all about here. Oh my God. It's like, I am just tingly all over my body right now. What is going on here? Okay. So you have hopes, dreams, goals, and ideas. Do not guard your ideas jealous, jealously. What? I can't ever say this word. Jealous, jealously, jealously. <laughs> oh fuck. Anyway. You know what I mean. Nor keep them locked within for fear that another may steal them or offer ridicule instead of support. It is time to share your vision. Tell great spirit and Gaia of your dreams and hopes so they may send you what you need. Speak of your dreams to others. Connect with those who share your goals and hopes for they may be able to help you realize your dreams sooner. Well, honey, you can tell me because, but you know how I am with this though. If you feel it's not ready, please do not. Just keep your, keep your, uh, if it's manifested, go ahead, share. Uh, for some of you, you know what I'm talking about. If you've been watching me for a while, it's like keep your manifestations to yourself until they actually start to occur. Uh, then go ahead and, and be very cautious. Like, you know, I feel like some people are jealous though, and they will kind of poop all over your shine. Um, but definitely I'm like super fucking excited for you guys. Uh, <laughs> I, I swear to God. It's like so intense what I'm feeling here. It's, it's, I mean, my ears are getting hot and tingly even. Maybe it's the little pointy ones coming out of there. I don't know. <laughs> uh, it's fucking crazy. I mean, seriously, you guys have got, I feel like you've got massive talent. Some of you need to let that shit shine because work it, work it, honey, work it. Um, yes. Okay. So we have Ivy, stretch and explore. Let's take a look at this one. God, my ears are burning. You know what they say when that happens, right? Someone's talking about you. <laughs> okay, so let's see, Ivy. All right. Why do I feel like somebody is going to like really talk good things about you and it's going to work in your favor? I feel like you're making a good impression on somebody and it's definitely going to pay off. You behaving in your utmost integrity mode and just being a beautiful person who's kind and generous. Oh, fuck. It's so going to fucking work for you. Oh, my God. Okay, so Ivy. Ivy is often climbing or trailing plant, and these types of plants are always reminders to stretch ourselves. It is easy to become complacent, but change is a constant in life. Ivy reminds us to stretch and explore. And if we don't take it upon ourselves, the universe will help this process along choosing the changes for us. That's kind of funny because this has like been brought up more than once. Okay. Interesting. New opportunities are appearing. Test them out. Explore new realms. Use the past as a foundation, but be open to the new as well. In this way, your success will continue to grow. Fuck yes. And then we have citrine, which is a very powerful stone. If you're going to use citrine and if you're going to get yourself a, a piece of it, please be aware that um, a lot of the citrine, especially if it's on the cheaper side, is not really citrine. It's baked amethyst. Uh, actual citrine is more brown in color. Um, Ciara has a really fucking amazing huge piece that she got. Uh, but it, it is very powerful stone. Uh, it's a very beautiful stone. And this is card 13, by the way. So lucky number 13 for y'all. So um, let's take a look at this. Citrine is the crystal of abundance. Abundance comes to you in many ways today. It may be a piece of happy news, a new business opportunity, hey, money, or a feeling of fulfillment. It doesn't matter which form the abundance comes in. Try to focus on only the positive things today and feel yourself being re-energized. If you feel like you need more energy, begin to get creative. When you partake in creative activities, you open yourself to new opportunities, rekindled passion, and greater happiness. To express your creativity, you may like to garden, cook, paint, draw, write, play, or listen to music. 
What can you make, play, or do that you enjoy? Look especially for activities that get you thinking out of the box and help you to relax. When you are feeling positive, relaxed, and or motivated, your energy levels are very high. This also helps you to attract and manifest more abundance into your life. Make a list of what you would like to achieve and then visualize yourself achieving it. Yes. So writing, I feel like for you guys in particular, especially with what came up here, is a very powerful manifestation tool. If you guys do this on a regular basis, I feel like it's really going to bring it in. Okay. Okay. So uh, citron is associated with the solar plexus chakra. Exactly. It is known as the stone of success, and it can help you to increase your personal wealth and energy. So I feel like some of you, your birthstone is actually citron and definitely be using that because that is a powerful thing. All right. So we have pure intention here. Oh, boy. All right. I feel like you guys are great manifestors. All righty. Here we go. Pure intention. Ooh. The fairies are usually very happy and willing to help us manifest our wishes, as long as these are both from our heart and not for selfish reasons. It also is important that your wishes don't impose on the free will of others and that your wishes are in the highest good of all concerned, including the fairies. This means tuning into your inner wisdom. If it feels right, you can also call on the fairy of manifestation to supercharge your wish. Here's a wonderful wishing technique using dandelion seed heads. Oh my God, I love this. Who hasn't done this in their lifetime? When you are like a kid and you're out in the grass and here comes the dandelions and like you make a wish and you blow. I have been doing this my entire fucking life, okay? And it, this is so cool because it, it is something that is rather ancient and people have been doing for millennia, okay? So it's kind of cool. Here's a uh, wonderful wishing technique using dandelion seed heads, which are full of wishes, just waiting to be carried into the air, fueled by your wise and wishful intent. Hold one of the fluffy seed heads to your heart and visualize your wish. Imagine that your wish has already come true, including your thoughts, feelings, and emotion when the wish has been fulfilled. Then take a deep breath, fueled by your wish, and blow the seeds into the air. Know the wish seeds will be collected and protected by this uh, slip wish guardian, one of many tiny fairies who dwell in the air. The sliff will take your wish to the queen of the sliffs and ask her to manifest it for you. It's important to give thanks to the sliffs once you've blown your wishes away. The beauty of making wishes in this way is that you're also helping the plant spread its seeds far and wide. When you help nature, you automatically assist the fairies too. So this is a wise way to create a win-win situation for them and you. And I have to mention, dandelion flowers are yellow, okay? And we have all this yellow coming, coming up. Every part of the dandelion plant, everyone looks at, oh, it's a weed. Dude, it is a beautiful, wonderful, fucking very helpful plant. Every bit of it is useful in medicinal purposes. You, It's edible. The leaves, the roots the flowers, everything. Okay. It's, it's a very wonderful, it's a happy looking thing too. I, f I find. Okay. But, uh, d for you guys in particular, I'm just going to say this cause it's coming to mind eating dandelion greens, like in salads and stuff could be very, uh, detoxifying for you. And also drinking dandelion roasted dandelion root tea on a regular basis could be something that you guys want to, to check out and do. Not only is it really just good, it's good for your liver, uh, and, you know, kidneys, because you're going to pee, but also um, it is so good for your skin. You want to have beautiful skin? I shit you not, drink fucking dandelion tea. Uh, that's one of them that's really good. They actually have like a dandelion detox. Uh, and then there's a, a line of skin teas that I've actually, my son uses, and it has dandelion root in it. And his skin clears up. Like if he starts to get like a little bit of stress acne or his hormone imbalance, I give him that and it works so good. His skin gets just so beautiful. So I just had to pass on that tip to you guys. So then we have freedom. And I feel like through this situation, it's really, you're realizing that getting into this position is giving you the freedom to choose and the freedom to uh, live your life in the abundant way that you want to, okay? So let's take a look at freedom. Oh, wrong fucking book. <laughs> okay, freedom. So... 
Express yourself without hesitation. Break free and let your spirit fly. Make choices that increase your freedom. Don't be tied down. Laugh, dance, explore, and go beyond predictable behavior. Be daring. Cast aside restrictions. Find your wings. As you do, you'll help others find theirs. You are not here to be ordinary or live a mundane life. You are here to step beyond limitations and self-imposed boundaries. Do not be trapped by convention or the need to please others. Choose life on your terms. Don't accept rules that don't feel right. You can be immensely free and yet still be a part of a loving, supportive community. Fuck yes. Okay. Because I feel like a lot of you are very much free spirits. Okay. But you have a great sense of honor and duty, I feel. Okay. Hold on. Let me see what's going on here. I just got a new phone, so it's like, <laughs> oh, I'm still getting used to it. Okay, let's see your little bonus messages here for you before I close your reading out. Let's see what comes up for you for your secret garden cards here. All right. This camera's kind of cool on this phone because it gives me more surface area, so that's nice. Oh, wow. Go with the top one. Oh my god, that's crazy that that one's go oh! <laughs> okay. So it's kind of cool. First one we have is forgiveness. A crushed flower still gives off a sweet scent. Okay. Make sure that if there's any, you know, forgiving is not just about forgiving other people, it's about forgiving ourselves. So if we've been hard on ourselves or maybe hard on somebody else, or somebody's been hard on us, always forgive, okay. You don't have to forget sometimes, you know, you don't, but we forgive for ourselves so that we can heal and we can move on, you know? So wildflower, live an uncontrolled life, free to grow anywhere and bound by nothing. Look at this freedom through this opportunity. You are giving yourself freedom to actually expand, stretch and explore and definitely travel probably generosity sow seeds of kindness legit we were talking about dandelion seeds and sow seeds of kindness i i what did i say you being in having integrity being kind generous sweet all that stuff it's really going to pay off for you seriously beauty dare to be tender and strongly vulnerable because you know what that's fucking beautiful and through this we actually become very strong that's why it says strongly vulnerable okay because you're not afraid to put yourself out there. And I feel like somebody is going to notice this about you definitely. And they're going to think you are the most beautiful person ever. Okay. Because you are not just appeasing on the outside, but on the inside, you truly are a beautiful human being. Okay. So anyways, that's all I have for this group. Thank you so much. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for the notifications in the drop down box. There's information on how to check out and join my Patreon. If you're interested in getting a personal reading, this is a great way to do it. Plus you get all the bonus, you know, uh, material along with, you know, your personal reading and you get to look at that. Um, and then there are, uh, there is also my, uh, email address for bookings and then also my social media. Thank you for being with me today. And I hope you have a wonderful summer solstice. Hey, for those of you who picked group three with the pink petalite, this is going to be your reading. We're going to go ahead and get into this. Oh, wow. The other two groups have been freaking amazing. I wonder what you guys are going to get here. So we have the six of pentacles, mentorship, charity. Four of Swords, Queen of Swords, and we have the Ten of Cups. Very interesting stuff. Hmm. This is rather interesting. I do feel like... You know what? I feel like you guys have, for some of you, you've been through some shit. <laughs> I'm, I'm just getting that kind of a vibe. But I, I'm almost getting the sense that some of you are going to be um, doing something career-wise, okay? But it's going to bring about a real sense of into, uh, inter, uh, God, independence. There, There's the word I'm looking for. But it's also going to give you massive fulfillment, um, I feel like a lot of you could already be in a relationship who are watching this, 
Uh, but if you're not, um, I do see that there is a, a partner. This is definitely kind of like career, self, as well as love related in this. This is kind of like all of the subject matter put into one reading here. That's really standing out to me. It's not just one thing here. I feel like that there is going to be a very happy, uh, successful, you know, uh, family, personal life uh, going on within your uh, starting um, in the summer. You could definitely be meeting somebody. But I also feel like that there is this total sense of independence. So within the relationship, okay, there is a like, a, you're you, I'm me, we're two independent people, you know, having a relationship together, but we can still be ourselves. And you have massive respect for one another because of that. With the four of swords and the six of pentacles, some of you could actually be working in some kind of profession where, um, you know, you could be dealing with uh, some kind of, you know, healthcare field, healthcare provider, something to do with, um, you could actually be doing something with law and lawyers, because I mean, you even have the queen of swords there with that four of swords, uh, some kind of legal work. Some of you could be actually working as massage therapists or an acupuncturist, something in a healing modality such as that even. Some of you could be having a high administration position. You could be getting a promotion, being an assistant to somebody very powerful. Um, with the Six of Pentacles, some of you could actually be uh, an assistant to an actual like famous person, like an actor or some kind of entertainer. Some of you also could be doing... Um, you know, some kind of charity work or getting involved with this. Uh, some of you could be doing some kind of lecture on any of that subject matter that I already brought on. You could be getting into a position where you're doing something like this. Uh, at, even at a university, working for somebody, an internship even, uh, working for a professor or somebody who's very well known in her in their field. I was, I was going to say her field in particular. For some reason, I wanted her wanted to come out with that. Um... You know, some of you definitely could be doing something where we are, you know, having some, I, I feel like for some of you, you could just be coming into fame and fortune. Some of you could be an actor, an entertainer, an, uh, you know, actress, something like this. And I see there's going to be some fulfillment. You even could meet somebody via this manner that you end up with. Um, it's, and for some of you, this, you could be a publicist for somebody who's very famous or something like this. Uh, you're getting a PR job, something to do with that, or working for a PR company that deals with this particular person. You know, something that is definitely property I involved. And also, some of you could be investing in some kind of property. Um, I feel like whatever this is that you're doing, it's not something that it's kind of hard to get into. But you, you, got, you have luck on your side and you got it. Also, I feel like with the Four of Swords, it's, there's a deep importance there to remember to take time out for yourself. Don't get too stressed. Don't get too busy. Take time to meditate, pamper yourself, uh, self-reflection, take a rest every now and then. I feel like it's very important to balance work and play because I feel like this group is way busy. <laughs> like you are fucking busy, you, you, but, you're, but you're very satisfied. It's, I feel like what you're doing is like very much filling the bill for your personality and what you want to achieve in life. And it's like part of your life purpose. And it's along these lines. It's like, I feel like you, you pretty much are getting to one of these positions where it's like, you got it all. And it's like, I almost feel like that there's a, um, a worry that you might lose it, you know, and you know, you're like, oh my God, I have everything that I've ever wanted. You know, what's going to go wrong? Whatever you do, don't think that way. Okay. Um, just enjoy it and know that you've earned it and you've worked hard for this. So, um, you know, and like I said, also for some of you, you could have a mentor coming in. Like I said, that's going to be very beneficial to you and is really going to steer you in the right direction and you are going to become great success because of this person. Okay. So let's take a look and see what came up for your cards here. We have you and your loved ones are safe. New moon in Cancer. It's kind of funny because this is the happy family card. And Cancer, you know, is the fourth house, which is all about our roots, our home, you know, our family, stuff like this. So that's interesting that that is coming up. We have seek the lesson. We have blue moon, rare opportunity. Holy shit. We have tourmaline, smudging, root chakra. So it's important to stay grounded. 
okay? And to uh, protect your energy too, because you might be under a lot of pressure, a lot of stress sometimes, and it's really important that uh, you take good care of yourself. We have protection. Whoa. Okay. So in your career, for some of you, you might be dealing with some people who are having trauma. Like even if you're a healer or if you're a lawyer, it's like some of you could be dealing with some, I mean, if you're a criminal lawyer or you're a, a family lawyer, you know, you're going to be dealing with a lot of drama and stuff. So it's important even with a corporate law. Okay. Especially or environmental. Oh God, you need a drink, honey. Um, <laughs> you know, it's like, uh, you know, it's like, it's important that you always are cleansing and taking good care of your energy centers, making, t taking time out to meditate, relax, uh, exercise, yoga, get some fresh air, because that's some big stress stuff. And I feel like for some of you, you are empathic, so you can be taking on other people's energies. So it's very vital and very important that you are always cleansing and really getting grounded. And we have community. Okay. Look, look at all the rainbow energy here. And I feel like with the rainbow energy and the fact that this is coming up here, which is, it's black, you know, tourmaline, which is like all the colors in one, um, it's important to, it's important to like balance all your chakras all the time and cleanse them constantly, okay? It's just going to make you a healthy, happy person, all right? So let's take a look at the Moonology card. You and your loved ones are safe with new moon in Cancer. So with this one... All right, there's a new start coming in your private life. Yes, look at that. Uh, something is rising up in connection with the people and places you hold dearest. This can be to do with a member of your family, a flatmate, or moving house. If you're hoping to move forwards with something special in your private life, this card comes to you as a message that you can do it. Some of you could also be getting engaged. Okay, so uh, you know, so that could be what part of this is, all right? And they could even end up taking you to some romantic spot, having a picnic and proposing you, proposing to you uh, there, okay? Uh, it, and it's very romantic, like a very romantic, natural kind of setting. I wouldn't be surprised, okay? So if you've been neglecting your family, it is time to reconnect with them. If you've been neglecting yourself, you need to take better care of yourself and nurture yourself more. If your insecurity is holding you back, that's something for you to work on now. Doing so could bring your heart's desire. So to attune to this energy, it says make sure you put family first. So the additional meanings to this card is let someone get a bit closer to you. A new cycle is starting for your child or children, if you have kids. It is time to renew your goals. Have they changed? Or review your goals, excuse me. Meditation will help banish your insecurities. Yes, that's what this card is right here. Spending time near water. Oh my God, look. Look at the, look at the, there's, oh, and there's water here. There's water here. Holy shit, that's crazy. Okay, spending time near water will bring you peace and answers. Look at that. Oh my God. And that's exactly, it's very peaceful, very serene in both of those cards. The new moon in Cancer can be a super emotional time. The moon is all about emotions and Cancer is a water sign and also very emotional. Saying that, the moon is very happy in the sign of Cancer. It's one of her two home signs along with Taurus. So whenever you pull it, this card suggests that whatever happens next will be in your favor. It's especially positive for family mat matters. Very interesting. So then we have Seek the Lesson. Let's take a look at that one. So seek the lesson. Wisdom is born from seeking the lesson in all experiences, both the good and the bad. It is born from the awareness that everything is connected and that all happens for a reason, even when the reason remains a mystery. Embrace a new idea, new awareness, or a new knowledge that comes from listening to your internal voice and to the human and non-human teachers and messengers who will come in and out of your life. Let them inspire you to explore unknown pathways. And what was I saying? Some of you could be having some very important person or mentor coming into your life, a muse, an inspiration to you. And they are going to teach you a lesson. Uh, and, you know, it's going to be very, a very potent, very powerful, very useful lesson. I feel like it's going to be of great help and concern to you. So pay attention to that. So then we have blue moon, rare opportunity. Oh my God, that's so cool. So I think we just had a blue moon, but um, check out when the next dates for the blue moon are. 
because there is probably something very special associated with that with you guys. So the second full moon in a calendar month is what most modern people consider a blue moon. It does not happen often, about every two and a half years. This makes it a rare and unusual. An opportunity has presented itself or will within the next month. Wow. It may be a rare opportunity for you. It may not come again, at least for some time. Take advantage of it. As we receive the little things that come our way, it starts the magnetic pull for bigger things. This is one of those times. Fuck yes. All right. So then we have this uh, tourmaline card. Okay, let's take a look at this. This is card 40, by the way. Um, okay. So it's back here. Cleanse yourself. Focus on getting rid of any old stagnant or negative energy from both your physical body and your home and or work environment. To cleanse your negativity and environment, you can use a Native American smudge stick, an incense stick, aromatherapy, oils, spritzers, holy water, or even... Just hold a strong intention to clear the energy. It doesn't matter which tool you choose to smudge or clear your energy. The most important thing is for you to strong, uh, to you, oh God, excuse me. The most important thing is for you to strongly and positively affirm, I ask for all negativity to be removed. I am clear and clean, so and so is this space. I am surrounded by pure white light and positive energy. Feel yourself pushing through the heavy energy. See yourself full of white light. Tourmaline helps you to release stress from the body and mind. It reminds you to try to remain positive. No matter what the circumstances are in your life, there's always a silver lining to each cloud. Compassion and tolerance for yourself and others is needed at this time. Open yourself up to giving and receiving love equally. Surround yourself with positive people that help to keep your energy uplifted. Tourmaline is associated with the root chakra. Exactly. So I feel like definitely working with tourmaline and keeping one on you or wearing a piece is very a very smart thing to do. Any black stones uh, are very good with this, you know, uh, banishing and protecting the energy. Um, this is uh, larvakite or its other name is black moonstone. This is a really good one, especially if you work around a lot of females. OK, uh, you know, this is a really good one to use for that as well. Um there's all kinds of stones. I have a bunch. I have the only black stones I have right now are the larvakite and this uh, septarian here, which is really beautiful. But and then also tourmalated quartz. This is a really good one to use as well because it's both the white and the clear and the dark. So this has got the best of both worlds right there. And it's an amplifier tour the for the tourmaline that's within it. OK, so then we have protection here. So let's take a look at protection here. The fairies of protection are around you. You can call on them, definitely. So it says, the fairies of protection are shielding you with a magical fairy ring of love and light. Practice psychic protection before embarking upon any spiritual work. The fairies of protection are forming a powerful fairy ring of light around you or someone close to you, providing the extra boost of protection that's needed right now. If you're especially sensitive or empathic, you might find yourself picking up vibes from places or people around you. These may include unpleasant vibes as well as good ones. And this is where the fairies of protection come in because their ring of rainbow light acts as a protective shield from any unwanted energies. When we're psychically open, we act as a beacon and can attract different types of energy. Some of these energies may be unwanted. So the fairies of protection remind you to use psychic protection when undertaking any kind of spiritual work or meditation and will give you their own protection too. This card is also a reminder to make sure that you're spiritually grounded or root chakra, right? Which can add an extra layer of psychic protection. A simple way to do this is to visualize a long tree rote tree root, excuse me, sorry, <laughs> growing from the base of your spine and going deep down into the earth. The protection from a fairy ring of rainbow light can give you more confidence during your spiritual practice and meditation. So if you need an extra layer of spiritual security, ask the fairies for protection to provide it. The fairies might also be nudging you to protect someone else spiritually or physically, but always ask permission 
before assisting anyone. This is important to remember that we all have free will and the right to choose whether or not we'd like to, uh, we'd like any spiritual help. Exactly. Okay. It's very interesting. We have all that rainbow light and then we have community. So I feel like some of you guys for your job and your career, you are doing something that is very vital and protective, uh, to a community or a group of people. Okay. And it is very important because of this to be cleansing your energy and grounding yourself on the regular. Seriously. Okay, so with that community card here, with this one, where is it? Uh, oh my God, I'm going to read you the description of this because it's kind of funny because what this was saying is literally being reiterated in this community card. It says, the towering ancient trees in a forest look distinct from one another, yet beneath the surface of the earth, their roots are intertwined. The roots act like a kind of communication system throughout the community of trees. Instantaneous messages travel through the underground system, or this underground system. Nutrients can travel uh, on this network. Trees at one side of the forest can supply the nourishment required on the other side of the forest. Danger at one end of the network is communicated to the far end of the intertwined roots. So support is all around you, even if you are not consciously aware of it. Allow yourself to be supportive, get supported, give encouragement to others. The more you allow yourself to be supported, the more your dreams can come true. If you believe that you have to do it all alone, you will. <laughs> Your true family is not just blood relationships. Sometimes the strongest family tires, ties are friends who know who you are. Sometimes they are your ancestors and soul family who reside in spirit. This card speaks of finding your community and your people. It is a card of remembering that your people are at your side, believing in you, loving you, and standing strong beside you. Call on your community and ask for their assistance. They're only a thought away, okay? And it's kind of funny because, you know, for you, you guys definitely have some wonderful people around you. And like I said, there's definitely somebody who loves you. Okay, so final thoughts, final messages here. Let's take a look and see what comes up for you. One more time. That one. Oh, okay. Oh. Oh, okay. Serenity. Value quiet days with only the rustling leaves breaking the silence. There you go, right there and right there. You need to take time out to enjoy your life and make sure you're taking good care of your health, both physically and mentally. Take the time, enjoy that peace. You know, go within, do whatever it takes to just get grounded. We have strength. Don't let weeds and thistles cultivate in your garden. Have the strength, set boundaries and make sure that you are not taking on someone else's BS all the time and taking it home uh, from work, you know, because it's going to just fester. So um, and this is interesting because this one mentions weeds and legit we have weed. Don't tolerate less than you deserve. Know your self-worth, you guys, most definitely, and stand your ground and set your boundaries always, okay? Because uh, you could be dealing with some challenging stuff too, uh, as I said. And we have grow. All flowers must grow through dirt. Exactly. Just don't forget that what doesn't kill you only makes you stronger and that sometimes we have to go through some bullshit before we can shine. Okay? So anyways, that's it, you guys. That's all I have for you. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for further notifications. In the drop-down box, there's information on how to join my Patreon. Uh, if you're looking to get a personal reading, this is a great way to do it because not only do you get the personal reading, but you get all the bonus material that I post constantly there too. Um, and there's also my booking email as well as my social media below. Thank you guys so much for being with me and I will catch you next time. Okay, okay. guys, those of you who picked group four with the green amethyst, this is going to be your reading. Let's take a look and see what comes up for you. This has been a great reading for all the groups pretty much. So we have 
what do you know <laughs> we have the sun card look at this this is so perfect for summer solstice is it not this is totally the god's time right here okay and look at those sunflowers this is beautiful energy it's so such a happy i mean legit i'm like feeling warmth radiating this is fucking fantastic we have the oak king oh wow with the hangman i love this one we have the high priest right here wow this is the hierophant card mm. and we have harvest holy shit you guys oh my god we have the judgment card here damn this is some heavy intense shit look at these these are all fucking major arcana okay you guys are having a major huge you have a lot of stuff going down here for summer solstice. My God, a total and complete fucking rebirth. Some of you straight up could be uh, going back to school or you decided you're going to go back to university. Some of you have just graduated from university. Um, but it is like a complete, I feel like a, a massive rebirth. Everything's good. Okay. It's like, I feel like that you guys uh, could actually, um, with that hangman energy, that's Neptunian energy, big time. Um Definitely, I feel like you guys are very creative people. I mean, it's like a brand new powerful beginning uh, and it's very creative in nature. For some of you, you could be starting some kind of uh, career that has to do with art, uh, something to do creative like this where you could be musicians. Some of you could be starting a psychology practice, you know, like being uh, uh, in the realm of psychology. Some of you do a lot of creative writing. Uh, some of you could be doing something that actually has to do with pharmaceuticals or chemistry or healing or something like this. Um, but with that high priest, you know, this is marriage. Okay. Some of you could be getting married, uh, you know, as well. But also like this has to do with university and school. Some of you could be getting um, a higher degree or going back to school for psychology or something. Um, with the judgment card, some of you could be going on to law school even. Um, you know, I feel like some of you could be definitely starting some kind of creative job though as well, because we have a lot of that coming up here. Um, some of you could be going into the realm of politics as well. Uh, and, and, and with that high priest there, um, you know, which is of course that, that Hierophant card, I mean, cause legit, this could talk about like, you know, uh, organizations, you know, church and state politics, even right there, uh, governments, uh, you know, like I said, like, where, you know, universities, schools, institutions, things like this. But I see it's like brand new beginning. And it's like you're, you, you feel, felt that this is, this is your calling. I'm getting the sense that this is the calling for you. And it's all good. It's like there's nothing but freaking success and happiness here with the sun card. Because when the sun card shows up, even if there was like truly negative cards here, um, it, it, it outshines them. It like nulls them. So, and then we have the hangman there. So some of you could have like actually just figured out what your life purpose and your life calling is. And you're deciding that now is the time to make, make a move and act on it. And I feel like it will be very successful you for you. And it's like, I mean, there's just nothing but abundance and fertility. I feel like coming in here. Um, and like I said, some of you could actually be getting married. And so it's a brand new beginning, okay? And it's with somebody who definitely you have a very strong tie to, where it's that, like that red string of fate that connects you both together. For some of you, I also feel like sunflowers could be something that is something that uh, like lights you up. You could even have a tattoo of a sunflower on yourself. Um, but you just, I feel like some of you, like one of you just like really loves sunflowers, um, it's just coming through. So we have balance, spirituality, and practicality with full moon and in Pisces. His Neptunian energy is Pisces energy. So show that you care. Oh my God. Snow, awakening dreams. Wow, you guys. And this is the Pisces, Neptune, awakening dreams. I also feel like you guys are very, very, like your psychic abilities and, you know, your intuitive abilities are just lit up. They're just really coming into play here. And it's like you just know uh, what to do now and where to go. I feel like you've seen the light. And, you know, 
I feel like a lot of you are definitely wanting to do something where you're care, like it has something to do with caring for others or healing others. That could be like your path, definitely. But you know, you're awakened to your dreams now and you're definitely going to go for that. And we have Jade, good luck, heart chakra with card 21. This is crazy because Jade is a very lucky stone. It's a very powerful stone. It's definitely heart chakra. It brings you great luck, but it's also a very healing kind of soothing stone. We have wisdom. Look at all the green in this one. Have you ever been told that you're wise beyond your years? Now is the time to call upon your inner fairy wisdom to help with a challenge. Uh, somebody might be needing your help at this time, and you're going to really show them that you care. And we have illumination. Look at this. Look at this. This is fucking crazy what's coming up here. And look at all those blues and greens. It's so beautiful. Very heart chakra energy. Very dreamy-like energy, okay? So let's take a look at balance, spirituality, and practicality here with full moon in Pisces. All right. So have you been so head have you been so head in the clouds that you've lost touch with reality? If so, take this card as a sign that you need to pay attention and make a concerted effort to move towards your goals. Oh, that's so awakening the dreams. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Uh hold on. Okay. The more practical steps you take, the better. It's time to find an inner balance between your responsibilities and your dreams. Awakening dreams. Wow. Meditate meditate <laughs> on your question and the solutions to your issue may now come through very clearly. If you're in a tricky situation because you've been acting the martyr, this card will be a message from the cosmos to drop the act for everyone's sake. Whoa. Okay. So to attune to this moon, it says meditate every day and see what comes to you. Answers will come. That is exactly what this card is right here. So additional meanings are you're in a super romantic, but not super realistic state. Follow your intuition. It won't let you down. At worst, this card can herald the end of a dream, but I don't think that it's because it says it's awakening. So there you go. Oh my God. The person you're inquiring about is a soulmate. And what did I say? There's marriage here. Avoid substance abuse. Wow. Interesting. So it says Pisces is the last sign of the Zodiac. So the full moon in Pisces symbolically marks endings. When the moon is full in Pisces or whenever you pull this card, it's time to dive deep into your emotions. Practicality is at odds with the uh, numinous Piscean energies that have no borders. So feel your way now. Psychic ability is heightened when the full moon is in Pisces and soulmates now connect. Wow, you guys. Okay. Think about that. We have full moon in Pisces. It's legit giving you a time period. So if, if some of you guys are feeling the call of your soulmate, pay attention to when the full moon is in Pisces next time. Okay? That can be a very potent, powerful time for you for sure. Okay? It is also time to send out your dreams to the universe, releasing your fears. Because when you do this, it's going to awaken them and they will happen for you. Okay? Okay? Most definitely. So let's take a look at the uh, show that you care. Let's see this one. Do you, or excuse me, do not distance yourself from life and those around you. Reach out. Ask for help or support if you have a need. Or if someone within your circle is in need of care and support, then give it without hesitation or question. A trouble shared is a burden halved. Now is not the time to withdraw and be alone, nor is it time to leave another in need. Be aware, be caring, be compassionate, reach out and be a friend and allow others to be a friend to you. Wow. Because if, I mean, if you're feeling stuck on anything, definitely. Okay. And this could also talk about that a little bit. Don't be afraid to ask for help or advice. Uh, so then we have awakening dreams. Oh my gosh. I love this card. He he he. All right. With the snow. And that's back here. Oops, passed. Okay, soft, quiet, and beautiful. There's something almost sacred about the first snow of the year. It touches the blessed, it touches the blessed keep of our dreams, a place where the heart and soul entwine. When it snows, we look up to watch the, the flakes fall. We lift our gaze to soft wonders and our dreams awaken. 
Once you believed that anything was possible, and deep inside, a part of you still believes that. Dreams remind us of our possibilities, and your dreams are being stirred once more. Now is the time to pursue them. Yes, and I feel like you're being called to do that. Go for it, honey. This is your green light for sure. And then we have Jade. And so you guys might want to carry Jade with you or work with it for sure uh, because it's coming up here for you. We have card 21 with this one. Jade is a crystal which attracts good luck and friendships. You are very lucky, lucky to have been drawn to this crystal today. Keep your eye out for a lucky encounter. Aha, good news, a financial blessing, or perhaps a new friendship. Be thankful for whatever form the good luck comes in. Jade is linked to the heart chakra and has also been associated with attracting love and money into your life. To attract money or improve your finances, you need to focus on remaining positive and visualize yourself achieving financial success. If the financial success doesn't show up straight away, don't give up. Acknowledge the wealth you already have and trust that you are making steady progress to greater abundance. To attract more love into your life, you need to first love and nurture yourself. Cleanse yourself physically and mentally. See yourself as a clear vessel of light. Refresh, your, re, bleh, excuse me, refresh yourself with clean, clear energy. As you do this, you will feel your heart opening and expanding, which will enable you to give and receive even more love and happiness. Some big changes are coming your way. Do not fear them, for they are positive changes. Yes. And it's going to bring a lot of wisdom, I feel like, okay? Along with it, because we have that wisdom card. We're going to take a look at that now. And it says... This fairy is telling you it's time to call upon your own inner wisdom in order to help yourself at a challenging time. Or perhaps someone you know could do with some insight into their situation. This wise fairy is accompanied by a white owl. Owls being a symbol of wisdom. She tells you it's time for you to trust your own knowing and reminds you that wisdom doesn't only come with age. Wisdom is the ability to see the bigger picture. So fly silently like the owl and hear and see everything before coming to a decision based on this wisdom. Being wise doesn't always mean you're right, but it does mean you have the ability to see into situations in an impartial way that many others can and for the highest good of all concerned. We all have access to inner wisdom and pulling this card shows it's time for you to trust this fully. You could find yourself being asked for help or to facilitate a healing between two or more parties. This is where wisdom comes in. Allow your intuition to speak through the filter of wisdom, but always remember that others have a choice and free will. So give loving advice, but not orders, as no one really likes to be told what to do, including you. Wow. And this is really interesting because, you know, I was talking about psychology and stuff. And that, that's like legit what this is talking about. It's like helping others that way. or And also law. So, yeah. Interesting shit. Okay. So now we're taking a look at the illumination card here. And with this one. All right. Illumination. I you know it's really interesting, like the first sentence on this, like, because there's like a description for each one of these cards and then the divination, right? It says, as the sun rises over the far mountains, mists begin to swirl upward, illuminated by the golden radiant rays of the morning light. Look at that. Totally. That's so freaking trippy that that says that. So, um, so the divination with this one is the upward spiraling mists rising in the mountains suggests that those in the realm of spirit, your spirit protectors, ancestors, and guardians are close at hand, assisting you on your upward journey of illumination. They are protecting you and supporting you. Your spiritual life is expanding by leaps and bounds. Even if you can't see what's ahead, spirit is close at hand. If you draw this card, trust your heart and what you feel more than what you can see and what you think, and you will be guided in a wondrous direction. Very interesting stuff, guys. So then I'm going to close your reading out here with some of these guys and see our little bonus messages. I mean, this is some powerful stuff happening to you. Big changes here. Huge ones. Life-changing milestone stuff. But I feel it's very positive. Holy shit. Okay. All right. Well, the first one that came out was self-care. 
tend to your garden. Exactly. Make sure you're taking good care of yourself at this time. Always do that. You know, you have to take care of yourself first before you can take care of other people properly. So always remember that, okay? Because you're important too. So retreat. Never underestimate the healing power of a quiet moment. Yep, that's what this is right here. Make sure that you are taking time out for yourself to just chill and absorb, you know, and absorb energy, like the positive energy, uh, and then also ground everything else, you know, like a constant flow, kind of like the two fish here in the Pisces. You know, it also reminds me of the um, the symbol he's drawing on the ground for eternity here. It's like you want the energy to flow through your body like this when you're meditating and like really send it through and just like cycle it in and just uh, release. And I'm just feeling like, ah, oh, right now, just thinking about it. Breathe. Ha! Slow down and contemplate the tea. Violets and ivy tangled around the eaves. This is telling you to chill the fuck out. Have a cup of tea. Relax. You know, you need to do this in order to be at your best, I feel like, on a regular basis. And it's kind of funny. Self-care, retreat, breathe. That's what this is. I feel like you guys have, have worked really hard and you, you earned some time off. So make sure you take it. This is part of being at your best and doing your best work through your career. You have to be... To be on point, you have to be rested and refreshed on a regular basis. So don't forget that. And generosity, sow seeds of kindness. Because I do feel like you guys are very hot chakra centered people. And you do have a lot of kindness and a lot of love and generosity and stuff. So anyways, guys, that's it. That's all I have for this group. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for further notifications. In the drop down box, there's information on how to join my Patreon, which is a great way to get personal readings as well. Plus, you get all the other bonus information and and things and card readings and messages of the day that I post there. Uh, plus there's booking information as well as my social media information below. Thank you guys for being with me and I will catch you next time. Bye-bye.